I'm going to make a quick little video on how to get an audiobook on CD that I got from the library, and I want to be able to listen to it on my iPhone. This can be done easily uh, through iTunes. Now, I struggled a bit to figure out how to do it, and I thought maybe it would help some other people. The first thing you want to do is open iTunes. The next thing you have to do is put your audiobook CD, I have one here from the library, and put it in your DVD drive. Close it and wait for a second. Uh, the dialog box has come up on my computer. Now, I don't want to have to rename each one of these, so it says Lee Child, The Secret, and The Secret Twice, and in the middle says The Secret One, so that's for disc one. I'm going to select that one and I'm going to say OK. Next, this box comes up and it's going to say, do I want to import them? And usually I would say yes, but this time I'm going to say no. Over here, these are all the tracks on the audiobook CD. I'm going to highlight the first one, hold shift down on my keyboard, and that highlights them all. Here on the right of the screen, I'm not going to press import. I'm going to go to the little wheel and I'm going to click on join CD tracks. Then I'm going to put import CD. Right? I'm uh, using the lowest setting. AAC encoder, spoken podcast, and this is 32 kilobytes mono, 64 stereo. And I've tested that. That's just fine. Any more and you can get a hiss and your files seem to get too large. So we go OK. And you can see at the top that it's importing them and joining them together. OK, now it's finished importing. This is disk two. So I'm hitting the arrow over. And here's my file. Right click. Album info. Options. And remember, these two are going to get check marks when I turn it to an audiobook. Audiobook, check mark, and this is what allows you to stop and resume. I'm going to go down and go OK. And when I go to my audiobooks at the top here, audiobooks, and you'll see the secret two is here and the secret one is down here. Here's something look at where disc number six doesn't say the secret six, but you can tell by the tracks that it actually is disc number six. So I'll show you how to rename that. Finished importing disc number six. And think of the logistics. Okay, here we are with our disc number six and we want to rename it. So we go album info, we go options, we select audiobook, we have our check marks. Now we go back to details. And under title, we put the six in. Now we have to do this after we change it to an audiobook. And we go OK. We'll go back to our we'll go back to our audiobooks. And it should be here. Here it is, number six. To put the audiobooks on your iPod, iPhone, um, your iPad, you just have to plug it in if you've got auto sync enabled and they will show up under your books icon. So I hope this helps everybody. Um, you know, I know it's a bit shaky, but it's basically for me just to remember how I did it. Thanks a lot.